Well, so today we started ranting about doing the right thing and the many things that people do that seem to offend others, but we don't care because it's Ghana we're in. But we want to address this serious condition where people burn refuse in their homes, even though they have a many laws and many things spoken about it, that is the wrong thing to do. Environmental Protection Agency is strongly against this, but some people also complain that they don't have access routes and so many other things. But what really is the legal redress that you have if someone, a neighbor, is burning refuse that disturbs you and he's even causing you know in a particular community a person who has his home located right next to another who burns refuse is affecting his children who are asthmatic he cannot sleep at midnight and this thing is going on and on but when they come together for collective action hmm, then people shy away how do we move on to make sure that such people are punished for doing the wrong thing joining me in studio is justice abdullah he is a legal practitioner with crown legal bureau and he will be delving into this this with me good morning justice Good morning, my dear. so you? this is a real issue because i mean i can imagine how i would feel because i have a bit of asthma and so i know what when the young ones also have the asthmatic attacks it feels like then you've got a parent who can't sleep you've got children who are i mean irritable because they're having their attacks and you are confused and it's just because someone next door is doing the wrong thing how best do you go about this how best clearly um unfortunately i i i I, I find this even in my very neighborhood, mm. and I'm a living witness of this same conduct. And mm. so it's quite um, funny, I mean, that I have to speak to this matter, mm. considering the fact that I witness it on a <laughs> daily basis mm. in my just next door. And I have not taken any step okay. to ensure that it is redressed. But it does not mean, mm. my inability does not mean that there is no law right. that regulates such conduct. Right. In fact, everything about sanitation, everything about your environment mm. is firstly tackled by your closest municipal or district assembly. Right. They are solely in charge of mm. your environmental matters, mm. whether it's by way of noise, whether it's by way of in fact, spatial um, 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 usage, whether it's by way of refuse collection, okay. drainage systems, mm. everything involving these matters. Okay. The first point of call should be your district assembly, right. if it's a municipal if it is a zona council, whatever um, minute um, local government you have closest to you, right. that should be your first point of call okay. for a redress. And usually they act, usually. Now, unfortunately, we no longer have the issue of town council hmm. that will be going around to um, identify some of these rots in our systems. And so you, as a neighbor, would have to look out for some of, some of these matters mm. and report to the nearest um, zonal office or mm. closest office of your district assembly for them to take action. Mm. Most of the times, they do indeed take action, most of the times. There's one of the few areas that I, you see that the assemblies are quite um, 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 active mm. when you report to them. Okay. Um, except with the burning part, um, because most of the time, they will come only to see the ashes and all of mm. that, so they hardly act on that. But where the refuse are left or maybe drainage systems are left to run all the way into the street or right. into another neighborhood, the moment you report to them, they come, they issue um, a warning, and they, in fact, they engage their community to as to how best to rectify that, right. particularly if it is a, a decent residential area. They easily come to your aid with rega regard to these matters. But if the person is bending, mm. it takes another level. It is not only a matter of you reporting to the, the zonal council or the, or the municipal assembly. Mm. But it also, because it has a potential health risk mm -hmm. to yourself and your family members, you have an obligation to yourself. You owe okay. it to yourself and not just to other persons to first safeguard your own health. Mm -hmm. Because all these fumes, when they come to you, um, beyond being asthmatic and beyond mm -hmm. being having the risk of an attack, it's also very dangerous to your own health, even mm -hmm. if you are not. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, risk prone to any of these diseases. And so you have to take immediate steps mm. to ensure that the person stops it. Some of them in would include plastics, rubbers, um, um, other rotten food and mm. stuff. All these, in fact, they are serious poisonous. Okay. And it could have a serious devastating um, health implications on your okay. life. And so if you do not take any steps to rectify this wrong, you may put your own life in danger. Mm. And sometimes, some few times, it gets to the point where some of these things catch and the fire spreads even to the roofs mm. and, 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 and you may have your own house um, getting arsoned. However, mm. however, if you are in a situation where in your case, your children get the attack, mm -hmm. then it takes a different turn. 
Okay. And if this different turn is the potential thoughts that the person would have to suffer. Right. And so you may probably have to engage the services of a lawyer to ensure that not only does the, um, the, the conduct get stopped, but also the entire health implications that your kids or your entire family have suffered mm. is remedied and paid for. Right. And this is provided for in law. So okay. it is not something that is so new. It's not something that you are now going to conjure to find out whether or not you have any right of action against the person burning his refuse. No, right. no. This is a straightforward matter involving tort. Mm. And so once the person, um, once you can really uh, identify that indeed it is the fumes from the refuse burning that has occasioned right. or triggered the risk um, of, of, your, of your kid's asthma mm. or even um, any other new diseases. Right you have a right in law hmm. to seek not only for damages okay. but also for 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 compensation for all the health risks that your kids have gone through okay. i i wonder why we keep using kids <laughs> because it's as, as if adults do not suffer right. from these same matters for the, every member of your family who hmm. suffers from this he has to be adequately compensated for right. but it is a problem the challenge is that you may identify as well that the person doing the burning doesn't even have the resources and so going to court will be um, a, 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 an effort in futility, mm. which is why you have an, an obligation to ensure that it, it never even stopped. happens. Right. right. It never happens. But Justice, let me feel this other side of it, where people make excuses that their areas are not accessible by the, you know, waste collectors, as it were. And people have raised these concerns. We hear them on the radios, we see them on television. So in that instance where they have decided to resort to burning, and it seems to be a communal activity, everybody is doing, you do it, I do it, and so it's okay. How do you start to, you know, enforce? Let's say if I moved into that community and I thought, because I know it's wrong, I wanted to make sure they stop it. How do you go about that as well? That is exactly why I, we started from. That is where mm. you have to write to the, um, normally an oral, um, oral complaint to the assembly okay. should suffice. But sometimes you may need evidence for, the f for, for future. <laughs> and so because of that, you might have to engage somebody, if you cannot write, to write on your behalf okay. and petition that this is what is happening and this is wrongful and so it has to be remedied immediately. So what is the punishment? What are the punishment? In law? No, normally, normally, when, uh, if, uh, what they do, when they come, the assembly come, they inform you to um, remedy the situation you do not. They instantly issue with their summons and okay. you have to appear in court. Okay. Um, the punishment may not be not necessarily um, that dire, but it's good enough to embarrass you. Hmm. And the fines are sometimes so heavy that you may not be in, not be even be able to afford it because mm. imagine burning a refuse that would have cost you just about ten cities to cut away, mm -hmm. and now you have to probably pay about thousand five hundred or mm. two thousand cities, mm. depending on the number of penalty you need. That's right. at the discretion of the judge to be imposed on you. It makes no sense, and even the drama of going up and down and being reported in the media and and always having to abandon your work for mm. this exercise. I think that whole that whole exercise is is enough punishment mm. for anyone to to remedy some of these matters. Well, I certainly hope that would be enough punishment. And I think maybe more people have to take them on because this is affecting all of us. And the smoke that goes out there is not only to your neighbors, but it's to the whole community because it goes up and we all inhale it. And gradually, we may all very well die from respiratory diseases if we don't clamp down on this. But indeed, I have been speaking to Justice Abdullahi. He is a legal practitioner with Crown Legal Bureau. We have been talking about the indiscriminate burning of refuse in the neighborhoods and how best to redress it legally make sure you speak up because if you don't you may just end up dead without any redress but there is hope out there let's all start speaking so that collectively we can end this canker